let's see if everything is working. Yep. Okay, yeah, everything is working. I'm pretty much in focus. And by pretty much, I mean meh. Do what I always do, put the Lee Nilsson brush in view and see if I can get Lee Nilsson to be visible. <laughs> of course I'm gonna sneeze. as focused as we gonna get. All right, all right, cool. Look at all this pretty wood that I apparently didn't fully, st oh, nope, yeah, I did stack. Basically, all the wood has been planed down to three quarter, except for two boards, which are taunting me right now because the reason they didn't get planed down is uh, they're 13 inches wide and my DeWalt takes <laughs> maximum width is 13 inches wide. You never put the actual maximum into a planer. So I got to sit down and at least rip an inch off of each of them. Get down to 12 like the rest of the boards because I feel like an idiot. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going to do today besides talk about the American Chestnut Foundation and see if I can finagle you guys to be ph philanthropic. But I'm not expecting you guys to be philanthropic. Ooh. That worries me. Ooh. That worries me a good bit. But it's a backboard, so we knew something was going to happen. But did you really bow that much? Okay, you really did. We'll come back to you, board. That's not good. This board bowed like hell after being planed. But, I mean, it's a backboard, so it's not that bad. And we may not even need that board, so also not that bad. All right, I heard paleontologist. Oh no, ads in 10 seconds. Uh, paleontologist, uh, yes, uh, I believe so as well. Right now we are, we're working on a, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give it 30 seconds and then I'll talk. Cause there's a heavy chance that like, you're behind the ad wall at the moment. Yep, yep, yep. Either way, this is going to be fun. All right. Wait, what am I doing? Cock it this way, see if we can get it to... Ha ha ha! Also, I realize now okay I think it's been 30 seconds so yeah uh, we're currently working on raising money to uh, to donate to the American Chestnut Foundation actually 
right now paleontologist. Um, right now we've pretty low on people actually donating, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay, is the ad break just now starting? Thank you for telling me that. Okay, whatever. Okay, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, we wanted to. Go to top down, we want to unlock Nikon. Ah, sorry about this, guys. There we go. And then we will relock it because for whatever reason there's a black bar. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. How we doing, Yankee? All right. There we go. That's what we need right here. Jeff said you said you wouldn't do IT again. I know I said that, but but um, Halloween. Jeff said I trusted you. I know, I know, Cat. I'm a terrible person. No, come back, cat. <laughs> oh. No. All right. We'll just have to be without cat for a while, I guess. All right. Today is going to be a rip roaring time with. Okay, I suppose. Chance said, hello all. Hey, Chance. Yankee underscore X said, Cat, you can stay. I have beard till he does again. <laughs> that is very true. Yankee does have a beard. Cat said, can Yankee take over PLS? I mean, he's been streaming, so... Okay, we're gonna... I means you're just going to be watching his stream instead of mine, I suppose. Yankee, get in there. <laughs> Yankee underscore X said, yeah, but you have cherry wood. Yeah, and apparently some of that, uh... Apparently, some of the sto the the flood wood was definitely definitely not stable. Cause uh, here I'll show you guys in a second. Yankee underscore X said L U L. But I don't think it will affect the overall project. And I mean, hell, I can always go get another board of generic. Generic cherry. All right. So this board, which was a backboard, is also a board that went through the flood. Here, I'll, I'll show you the easy way. It bowed after being planed a good, I want to say, three eighths to half an inch, somewhere around there. But what we're doing right now, uh, the, these two sideboards are too big to go through the planer. So we're going to have to rip them down to 12 inches. Uh, which means we're going to be tired as hell. I mean, technically, the, the DeWalt says it takes 13 inches, but... I'm I'm not a man to trust putting the absolute maximum through a planer. At Mel's 
chance to splash. Hey, Chance, how you doing? And we will get that that shout out fixed eventually. We will get that fixed eventually. For those who are wondering what I'm using, this is a this is a panel gauge. Basically, it is a souped up marking gauge. No, it's uh, it's Streamerbot, and it sounds like they changed the name of the variable. I'm sorry, cat. I'm sorry. it a little bit easier on my eyes as well. As, oh, thank you, Yankee. Thank you. Yeah, a after uh, payday this Friday, it'll probably jump a little bit as well from me. Say what? Yankee underscore X said, I'm kind of broke, but I like rounded numbers. <laughs> oh, okay. That means I need to continue putting like $5 in every once in a while or a dollar or something like that. Don't tell that to Kat. She'll, she'll disown you. This is actually probably the best my face has looked uh, after a shave in a long time. I'm not going to lie about that. Like, I feel like it's not quite where I dropped to 18 years old or 16 years old when I shaved. Maybe I finally got over that hump. No, just cat doesn't like me without my facial hair is all. There we go. We'll do it the easy way here. Cat conditional love is not okay. That's all right. I mean, we're continents away. We're continents away. By the time. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it was, what, what it is, is I, I decided to do it as part of a Halloween costume. And I'm not telling the people, like, the people at the party have no clue that this is coming. So, I'm going to rock in there and everyone's going to be like, who the hell are you? And, and it'll take a few seconds and they'll be like, oh shit, <laughs> you're Wes. That's part of the reason too, like 
for a while I've been wanting to just restart the beard because there have been a few bad trimming incidents. Um, but then, but then, um, also Halloween. Okay, I'm gonna. I, I'm not gonna lie. This panel gauge that I got, I really like it. I mean, it's still not amazing, but. For a costume. I can't, I can't, I can't get a bald wig for my chin. A non-beard splain. <laughs> oh, I should have saved what I shaved off then. We could have sent it over to you to make a beard. Yes. Yes, it do. I mean, like, quite literally, I will feel, I'll, like, hit my chin, and I'm like, wait, where's the fluff? Where's the fluff? All right. So hopefully by the end of tonight, we'll have, we'll have these two. Yeah, that, that, that's also one of the things, like, I can definitely tell there's nothing there. All right. I even made the comment earlier this week that I was like, my face is cold. <laughs> because it's finally getting cold around here, but it was just like, I shaved at the wrong time because like I can feel the temperature on my face. Oh, I've got it because, uh, yeah, I don't have the grand moisture barrier I used to have. I didn't think about this. People that, that are going to be at the party might actually be on, on stream. Oh, God. Okay, so. Sweet. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Small ribs suck so much I have. I guess you guys can tell that it's actually cold around here because I'm wearing long sleeves again. I look left-handed because I use the chem on phone flipped around LOL. People keep saying you left-handed. I was so confusing. I, I am actually left-handed. <laughs> Though, Yankee, I'm, I'm actually... I, know LOL. I am the Southpaw. <laughs> Oh, this reminds me, before we get too far. I told them that was UPP. <laughs> All right, before we get too far. Well, once I get close to the bot to the end, I need to remember to cut in from that side to make sure I don't get any tear out. Or. Okay. 
<laughs> I know we got into the talk, topic about handedness and tools and all that stuff before. Um, but something I didn't think about bringing up until then. Sorry, I'm checking the bench because this floor is decidedly uneven in so many places. Um, guess which hand I shave with? It's a very easy answer, but guess it. And then again, some of you have actually watched me shave, so I'm, I'm sitting here going, I probably shouldn't even be asking that question. I'm going to take these. Right. You're only half correct. I shave with a straight razor, and most of the time, people that shave with a straight razor end up becoming ambidextrous with it because you get a better cut. Okay. Yeah, all right. It's not going to wobble around on me um, because I know she doesn't want to see me, but when you're shaving, depends on the grain of your of your fit of, of your beard and I'm using a straight razor so like on this side i'm shaving down shave here this side shaving down shave here my neck i need to shave up so i cross hand shave up cross hand shave up um it's one of those things that just you get a more consistent result if you just learn how to do it well if you saw what the the foundation in this place looks like, like the, the, the portion of the slab over here is a quarter inch lower than the portion over here, but I don't have root, like, I don't want to be right on top of all the power cables either, so come on, get in there. Oh, okay, there we go. That's why you're doing that. Yeah. No, I get you. yeah. Yeah, and it's just, it's a terrible floor. So like getting a couple shims in there, best thing ever. Oh, this is, oh, I'm not fighting for balance. Yeah. Next time I see James Wright, I'm going to have to give that man a hug for trading me for this saw. Because, I mean, this is this has vastly improved my ripping capability. That and it's, what is this? It's a five. Like the step up from an eight to a five was astounding. Like it's a well set up five, but also like trying to rip a long board with an eight point was a pain in the butt. Yeah. Actually, let me go. Let me show you guys this. I finally have my saws hanging up. So yeah, I've got an I've got an eight rip and a thirteen cross cut. And now I've got a five rip, and this five is definitely yeah. Hey, I got I got mine at a. Ah, yeah, ever since I got this five point, ripping has become less of a chore. Because it'll actually tear through the wood at a monumental pace.
All right, let's hold you there. <sighs> uh, this one is not a distin. Uh, my, my 8 and 13 are, this is, this is an Atkins saw. Still good. It's an Atkins, not a distant, but it's, oh, yeah. I like Atkins. Uh. Oh, I got these screws. You guys will laugh, but I'm slow. And I know Me if Mecca's here, he'll definitely laugh, but I've been slowly replenishing my slotted screws, you know, the bane of, yeah, the bane of existence, slotted screws, but I mean, uh, it's more, it's cold, it's cold outside, so you're going to hear me sniffling as well, which it's just, my sinus is getting used to the fact it doesn't have the muffler warmth anymore. It's like, hey, you don't have uh, you don't have that thing protecting your nose from getting cold. Oh, I know you. I just like to be a, a pain in the butt and say slotted screws, mainly because like I really do like clocking my screws. Um, when I put some, when I put something together, I do kind of like getting some brass screws and just clocking them. It doesn't look quite as impressive with Phillips head or Robertson or anything else when you clock them. That's all right. I mean, I didn't know the name for the square ones either until, actually until Mecca. <laughs> Mecca was the one that told me that they're Robertsons. I just called them square bits. <laughs> I need a square bit. <laughs> and in America, there's only one size of square bit. There isn't like multiple sizes. <laughs> How close are we to? Okay. Hey, I'm hearing stuff. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, Cat's already mad, Yankee. Or not Yankee, Mecca. Cat's already mad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We had a donation. When did this happen? Please tell me it'll show me in the, in the past. Mecca said, wow, look at the difference. We had a donation. What's going on? Oh, no. Is there any way for us to tell who that is? Okay, Kat, thank you. Yankee underscore Thank you said. for He looks young AF. Oh, Max recognizes me. Max recognizes me through smell. Does Max recognize you? Yeah. He, he recognizes me through smell. He knows it's me, but I mean, I've had Max for, say hello, hey. what? 12 years now I've had him. He's, he's gonna be 13 in, uh, I just give him, his birthday is Halloween. That's what I usually just say, his birthday's Halloween, because. <laughs> Cat's playing malevolent. <laughs> but either way, thank you guys for donating. I don't expect us to hit the 500 number. I just put it up there as a, as a blind hope. 
I like American chestnuts also. Uh, you never know, Mecca. You never know about that conversion rate. Oh, I, I love them. Unfortunately, the only time I get to work with American chestnut is by breaking down old furniture. Well, I mean, like... You might get in serious trouble if you cut one down, man. <laughs> They're functionally extinct. Um, but they're, they're going to make a comeback, I can tell. They're, they're getting somewhere. Um, should, after we get done ripping this board down, we're going to pop open the chestnut magazine. So we can talk a little bit about the, the campaign, at least. And then we'll move on to the to the second sideboard. How about that? When we get this one ripped off, we'll talk about we'll talk about the campaign. I brought those magazines on purpose. Okay. We need to flip this real quick. And look at how bad I, I saw. But I do need to try and prevent this from happening again. Because we're ripping down to actual width. And I have a five, and a, a five point right now. So let's create that buffer. got that started because the last thing I want to do is lose like a half inch of width because it snapped off. This curly cherry does like to just break. Yeah. Something I didn't think about doing when I was just ripping the boards originally. <laughs> There's a knot right there. A wedge? Ah, uh, probably. Probably. I see what you're saying. that back out 
Okay, now we need to be delicate like flour. Delicate like flour. Yes, it worked. Okay, let's hang this saw up on its on its saw hill. All right, we now have one board ready to go through the planer this weekend. Uh, secondary secondary thing right before we uh, cut to talking about chestnuts. I just now realized <laughs> that the camera is not following me. But then again, that's because it can't, it does not recognize me. Um, it's like, nope, you're not human. You don't have a beard. You're not a human. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna throw you on here. Uh, and we will we will so uh, la, 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 I don't even remember oh yeah segue before we start talking about chestnuts my schedule is going to change I think I'm just going to go ahead and dive into it we're going to do Monday and Wednesdays, same time, same place. Uh, instead of Sunday, Wednesdays, I seem to never be able to get to, um, to Sunday, <laughs> to stream on Sunday anymore. So we're going to switch it up and do after work specials like Wednesday, where it could be two or three hours, depending on how destroyed I am. <laughs> All right, so like I said, I actually became a member of the American Chestnut Foundation. I'm not that old of a member. This is every single magazine I have, these two. Um, they put one out each quarter, so that tells you that's how long. Um, so this was the first one. <laughs> I, I'm glad to see cats back. So I guess the first big thing is this is the natural chestnut range. If you can see this green blob um, and any of the, well, let's do it the easy way. Boop -a -doo. I don't know if any of that's even visible. Let's find out. If not, we'll just do it the shaky cam shaky way. I mean, that's basically visible. I'll never be able to do anything right. Shaky cam away. Um, we'll do it the easy way. So biggest things that are, you know, covering, we have these, uh, was it 10 different orchards they have for uh, uh, growing chestnuts at the moment. Uh, the green blob is its natural range. Right now it's kind of highly diminished because uh, nine, what was it? Uh, the chestnut blight came over and kind of destroyed everything there. <laughs> um, but let's see if we can get 
some of the fun stuff. If, I, if only I could actually buy these things. Um, they are selling chestnuts and trying to reforce chestnut po uh, the chestnut population. Um, and here's an article about Troop five, uh, 541 that is ac was actually um, doing reforestation, basically filling, uh, filling buckets with chestnut burrs that they could find and planting seedlings. Um, for those that haven't heard my rant before, the American chestnut used to be a quintessential, quintessential staple for uh, American woodworking. It was called the cradle to grave tree. Um, basically, everything was made from chestnut when, when uh, if you were east of the Mississippi, it was made of chestnut um, or pine. But so cradles were made from it, furniture was made from it, packing crates were made from it. Uh, uh, Jesus, I can't, caskets were made from it. Basically everything could have been made from it. Um, which is why like nowadays, if you break down old furniture, you might actually get some chestnut you can use. Um, but the early 1900s, ch uh, Chinese chestnut had been imported in and was carrying a fungal disease called chestnut blight that it is naturally resistant to. Um, and American chestnut is not resistant to it. And that is part of the problem. Uh, it basically girdles around the trunk, kills the tree. And luckily chestnut's one of those trees that can grow from the roots. So they have been continuing to grow back, but they're struggling to get old enough to be mature enough to, uh, to reproduce. And what the American Chestnut Foundation has been doing is a couple of different things. This is an article about their genetically modified uh, version of the chestnut called the, uh, the Darling 58. Um, basically, it has been modified to have resistance to the chestnut blight. They have also crossbred um, Chinese chestnut and American chestnuts to preserve the traits of American chestnut, but to inherit the resistance to the blight. And they are also, um, they are also um, just growing as much chestnut as earthly possible and reforesting it. Because in 1950-ish something, it was declared functionally extinct because they are unable to truly reproduce in any sustainable manner anymore. I have not actually read through this one. This came in like two days ago. Um, so let's see what we can find. Um, okay, so 1904 is when chestnut blight was first noticed in the Bronx, Bronx zoological part. Um, and then Okay, by 1913, they, re they recognized that the chestnut blight was growing on Chinese chestnuts, but like not killing them. So that's, that's how they figured out it came from importation of Chinese chestnuts. 1922, the USDA breeding program uh, started working on trying to get, you know, trying to get chestnuts to uh, sustainable growth. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of reading through this. Okay, so 1980 is when they started crossbreeding for blight resistant American chestnut. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm just, this, I honestly should probably like post some of this stuff. This is actually kind of interesting. Uh, 1983 is when the American Chestnut Foundation was founded. Um, do, do, do. 
1989, the Wagner Research Farm for Breeding was uh, established. Sorry, I'm being boring and just reading things. Y'all yell at me when you can. Now there... Okay, 1995, the Pennsylvania chapter uh, has their first successful chapter breeding program. So they, they started being able to actually breed chestnuts at that point. Uh, 2005, sorry, I'm hitting big, big points here. First potential blight resistant chestnuts harvested from Glen C. Price Research Farm. Like I said, I'm just, uh, 2006, the first transgenic American chestnut tree planted. Um, that would be the, uh, the Darling 58. If, I, if I'm correct. Okay, moving stuff around. Uh, 2009, uh, the United States Forest Service Southern Research Station and University of Tennessee participate uh, in first forest plantings of the hybrids, the Chinese American hybrids. All right, like I said, I'm hitting highlights because there's enough to like get lost in it. Was it 2018? The breeding plan was revised and implemented. Um, Oh, 2018 is when the transgenic, the, uh, the Darling 58 was submitted, uh, submitted to, uh, submitted for review to regulatory agencies. So we're, we're getting up there. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, uh, 2020, uh, USDA APHIS uh, uh, comments, tor comments towards uh, deregulation of the transgenic American chestnut. So um, Darling 58s are being planted. And, and past that, it's just, they're getting, uh, it, <laughs> I, I like how they show this graph of how like chestnuts are being planted and then they just show how like the year before, the years before COVID hit, you know, almost 250,000 trees and then COVID kind of knocked it down to 160,000 that were being planted in that period. And they, they even had to comment on it. It was like, yeah, we weren't allowed to do anything. <laughs> And they actually, like, in their chestnut magazines, talk about different, like, different concepts as well as, like, blue, like, this one's blue jays and red squirrels, or, you know, how different species work with chestnuts or, you know, different animals and all that are coexist with chestnuts. I think there was a chestnut moth in the prior one. Oh, that's interesting, harvesting a chestnut tree. I'm going to have to read that one later. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to read that later. A cocktail made with rum-soaked chestnuts. I'm definitely going to have to read that. Um, also, in case, you, in case you weren't aware, I found out like literally days, days ago that they're doing one of their big pushes for, uh, for funding right now as well. I just kind of decided to do it. I'm going to have to go here. This is apparently a log cabin made out of chestnut. Um, an article on using CRISPR. I might have to show that to uh, Slime. She might actually like to know that. 
she'd be able to actually read it and tell me what that actually means. Because um, she has those skills. I do not. But they've been doing a lot of work, and like I said, they're, they're getting close to the point where, where the, uh, the genetically modified one may be authorized to plant. Um, but I know you guys don't love to hear me yammer on, but I also know you don't come here to hear me yammer on. All I can say is please consider donating. Um, I think it's a very good cause. And like I said, after I get my check Friday, I'll be putting a chunk of money into it as well. Don't, don't think I'm doing this just because I think you guys will do it. I'm, I'm doing it because I think it's a good cause. I would like to see more ecological based uh, fixes in this day and age. One second. Am I on the correct? Okay, yeah. I am on the correct side. But either way, I, I'm just glad you guys stick around and watch me make random stuff. And hear me yammer on about how we need to be saving trees. Gotta love curly stuff. Like, nope, we're just gonna go around that knot. Well, screw you, buddy. Screw you. Jen says the prospect of a sustainable chestnut forestry is great. I think so as well, Chance. And uh, other things that they've been doing, I, I know it's not harped upon because it's more of a benefit of what they've been doing has also helped with like the ash problem, the emerald ash borer problem and things like that, where they're coming, they're sharing their research and, and it's helping solve those kind of problems as well. I know the, the, the chinkapin is basically like a Midwest style chestnut and it has the same basic problem and that has been oh, come on come on there we go thank you um, that has been they've been working in conjunction as well there's like a Missouri chinkapin society or something like that uh, I'm not the best person to Ask about that. I found out about it after I found out about the. Never. Which which camera is that? Uh, big camera, top or bottom camera? I'm gonna assume you mean this one. I'm going to assume you mean that one. It's kind of hard. I'm still, still working with trying to figure out how to make that better. All right. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm.
there's a nice bit of curl there that's just preventing that from doing any good. Okay. And then uh, we do it again, except from this side. Correct? Yes, I can see the pencil mark. Huzzah. Another. Yeah. Come on. Just when it hits that grain. Okay, now we come to D side and we pull. Well, hello there. It's been a long time since you've come in. How are you doing? All right. All right. Now, for something completely different. <laughs> We're never going to have pot pie, are we? <laughs> This will be day three of trying to cook chicken pot pie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's a big downside to not having a beard. I don't have the big, like, catcher. <laughs> I just poured, poured it all down my chin because I'm used to having, like, the beard redirected into my mouth. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Cat has broken the chat. <laughs> yep, Slim made it in. Miss Slime. <laughs> I love the complete like difference in, in conversation. How? Hi. I could not stop him. I went crazy, ravage you might say, and just said it's time. <laughs> Hello there. Um, you seem to be a new face. As your underscore mom zero zero six hi. <laughs> um, so uh, mom zero zero six says yes. 
<laughs> I'm going to go ahead and ask the same questions I ask everyone. Um, How'd you find us? Uh, what, what brought you in here? Um, my name's Wes. This is plain old woodworking. I do hand tool woodworking projects. Um, hope you don't mind me prying on. <laughs> we are currently uh, working on a shaker cupboard. Um, if you want to see a picture and a small description, uh, exclamation point project will bring that up for you. Ah, <laughs> but yeah, uh, feel feel free to type in exclamation point uh, project, and it'll at least give you an idea of what I'm slowly working on. But always glad to see a new face. Um, don't want to scare you away or anything, so. Basically, it's all woodworking all the time. If you want to share your work at your underscore mom zero zero six. <laughs> okay. Oh. Mom 006 said, I would if I took pictures. <laughs> uh. I always forget taking pics. Uh. far let's do what we did last time and cut a that I'm terrible at cutting aren't I but cut a relief so that I don't splint this off just in case you're wondering um, I am actually left-handed it's not a it's not a camera trick I usually post on Instagram, but I mean, like, at this point, it's like, do I post that I have boards? <laughs> I haven't done any joinery or anything, it's just boards. Right now is Okay, relief is in. 
Now I can just continue sawing and that'll keep it from breaking a huge chunk off. All right. One of these days my body's gonna be used to working this much. But today is not that day. Today is definitely not that day. What do we got? 7.17. Oh, shoot. Either way, I'm glad you guys are interested in helping me raise money for Chestnut Foundation. Um, we said every penny counts. trays you would laugh uh, I have a I have an Arbon or uh, not Arbon uh, is it Audubon I don't know anymore Arbor Day there we go an Arbor Day hat that just says plant trees and I, I typically wear it while I'm mowing the grass so it's like antithesis Honestly, at this point, I think it's cherry, but I really don't have any like real favorites. It's just uh, growing up, dad always used walnut, and I do have a good stack of walnut over there. I've got walnut, cherry, pop and poplar basically over there, and a few exotics. I tend to use cherry a lot because it's cheap for me, but also I just like, I like the way it ages. Like when I used to make pine boxes and stuff like that, I would stain it with cherry stains because I like the way cherry works. Um, if I could afford it, mahogany, um, like straight up mahogany. I have one board of mahogany up on the shelf. I do love working with it, but it's just expensive. But my general go-to is going to be either cherry or walnut, just because that's, that's what I got. Never. I will make grand and fantastical furniture out of mahogany. I'll leave some for you. I don't buy a lot because like... Mahogany furniture. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean... You have heard of the Victorians, right? Tell that to the Chinese cat. Chinese do. I think I am shouting. I'm not running out of energy. My kneecap is literally saying, stop doing this. I'm getting to be old. I need to wear like knee pads now when I do this. Uh. Oh, Slime, if you're still listening, remind me to read the, uh, the, the article about the of chestnut rum. <laughs> Also, let, remind me to show you the CRISPR article about chestnuts.
Oh, we're getting into the to the curly portion. Whew. How can I tell? <laughs> Immediately like, hey, grain's going everywhere. this work just so I can get it into my planer. Because <laughs> I am not thicknessing a board this big. But then again, I didn't want to thickness all of these boards because doing it for a box, fine. Doing it for a cupboard, I'm not that much of a sadist. starting to wear a little bit. Okay, let's try and go from this direction then. It all depends. Um, it all depends. Like I have, let's do it the easy way. So you boop -ba -doop -ba doo like just chunks and chunks of scrap wood that I do keep. And then if you look at what's stickers between my boards, that's quarter inch walnut, poplar, walnut, poplar, walnut. That's just a chunk of walnut. <laughs> like, at the minimum, like this, if I find nothing to do with this offcut, it'll become stickers. Um, for stacking wood, I'll just cut it into small, you know, like three lengths and it'll be good. But I mean, unless it's unusable, I, there is a chance I will throw something into the burn pit. But unless it's unusable, I at least try to find a use for it. Which is why the other portion from the board we ripped is right over here. I didn't throw it out yet because it's probably going to become stickers. Oh no! Oh, it's raining. Interesting. That's going to be interesting getting the streaming set up through the rain. It's raining. It's getting heavier. We may just have to leave it all in all here today. <laughs> No, you want cedar necks, man. You want cedar necks with an ebony fretboard. Uh 
Okay. Cat said, I don't want to buy ready-made guitars. All right, now we play gentle as possible. Huzzah! No splinting, no breakout, no nothing. Got a nice clean edge that I can just plain flat now. When I get to it. <laughs> when I get to it. But they now both can go through the planer on the weekend. And I would do it on stream, except for that planer takes a ton of juice. Your underscore mom zero zero six said, the one wood I want work on is purple herd wood, but it's too expensive. I am not a big fan of purple heart. Um, it's a pain to work with, but also like that purple color goes away within a few years. Unless you like seal it with poly, like UV resistant poly. And it stopped raining. Okay. I don't mind. Okay. Um, let's see, we're what, 7.30. Do we want to continue on or do we want to call this a success for today? I kind of want to call it a success for today because I'm already worn out from these long rips just wear you out. <laughs> Tell you the truth, but like, I mean, after I get this uh, planed up, we'll be actually starting joinery work. You know, like, so Monday and Wednesday next week, we'll actually be doing joinery work, guys. We'll actually be doing something to make it. Yes, I know the camera's just looking at my butt. That's for Cat, because, because. It's my way of recompensing, taking off the beard. But I think we should probably call it for tonight. Um, and then Monday and Wednesday, we'll be, uh, we'll be plowing forward with some sort of joinery work Chance or... <laughs> Chance said, seems good. All right, so let's see if we can find uh, We'll do it the old fashioned way here. See if we can find someone to stream or to raid out to. All right. Chat said TW is on. Oh, TW's on? That might be exactly who we do. All right, so let's find out. Yeah, the uh, camera is the phone, so it died. Let's see, we got C Not Bush, Guitar Show Australia. Oh, yeah, no, we're gonna do TW. That Dutch oven cooking, yes. Stop looking at me. Anyway, so let's uh, let's raid out to our buddy uh, TW. Actually, TW says she want to raid out LUL. All right, well then let's raid out to, let's see, Lumbering Ox, I get, uh, maybe. Lumbering Ox, Lumbering Ox sounds good. We'll make her raid here and make you raid her. ITLL be hilarious. Mm, but, but, but man. Okay, so Lumbering Ox, I think, might be it, unless there are other people in Makers and Astro. Ooh, we got someone on a pottery wheel. You guys up for some uh, pottery wheel? I think so. Slash raid. Sure. All right, we're gonna try out a new channel, Philsbury. Looks like they're doing Pottery Wheel. Um, see you guys Monday, same time, 6 like p.m. Central. Yep, it's just vertical, a vertical lathe of clay. All right, have a good one, guys, um, and I will Bye. see you guys 
next week.